the 77 delegates here decided by an overwhelming majority, by 66 votes to 11, to end the strike. They didn't even need Mr. Sidney Green to wind up for them. This has been the longest official NUR strike since the general strike of 1926. And in many ways, it's been a weird one. The only immediate sufferers are British Rail and their finances. One way or another, this will have cost them possibly two million pounds. Eventually, I suppose the taxpayer will have to pick up this bill. But for the time being, the public's felt nothing. The passenger trains have still been running. And those industries which use the freight services have found it pretty easy to switch to road. And in fact, here in Aberdeen, where the conference is being held, two valuable freight liner services have been lost, one for fish and one for meat. And it's a moot point whether this will ever return to the railways. And I think this has been at the back of many of the delegates' minds here, the fact that at the moment, the railways really can't afford to lose traffic. There's obviously a place for the railways in Britain's economy today, but only if it's competitive, if the services are right, and if the price is right. Today, firing again started across the border between the two countries. Do you see the possibility of a renewal of war once certain Arab states have rearmed? It is not a question of once certain Arab states have rearmed. Uh, our territory is occupied at this stage. There must be a return to positions held before the 5th of June. If this does not occur, People ask us to negotiate and talk. And I ask, why didn't this country, in fact, negotiate after Dunkirk? We are, in roughly speaking, the same position. The first prerequisite is for things to return to what they were. And the door should be open to carry on and find an eventual solution. But if uh, the situation persists, then there is very grave danger that it will flare up again. is bothering to compete at Expo without condescension or special pleading. We are having a go. And after all, national exhibits aren't really for the nationals of that country, any more than advertisements are aimed at the employees of the company advertised. And then I am sure if Jerusalem will not be given back to Jordan, the Jordanians are going to fight for it. I am sure every one of us is going to fight because it was our bread and butter. <laughs> 